like to make rasa pasta with um, plant-based chicken. So check it out. It's going to be good, y'all. Okay, so at the beginning of this recipe, I actually started with my plant-based chicken. So this is how it looks. I marinated it for 20 minutes. I used two teaspoons of the Walker's Wood jerk seasoning and then I actually ordered this season online from Chef Bay on Instagram. So this is where I actually got the recipe. So I put one teaspoon of Chef Bay seasoning and I marinated the chicken for 20 minutes. So what I'm actually gonna do is use this pan to saute my chicken. Maybe about a tablespoon of olive oil. And then I already put a tablespoon of olive oil in here, maybe two tablespoons. So I have my mixed vegetables, green, red, yellow, orange, and my onions. So I'm gonna start with my onions first. I'm just gonna put my peppers in. And this is minced garlic, it's about three cloves of garlic. So that's about four and a half teaspoons of garlic. I'm just gonna saute my veggies for about five to seven minutes. Mixing in my garlic. In the back pan, I have my um, pasta. I use the penne pasta, so I'm just letting it boil until it's al dente and it's actually almost ready. I'm going to saute my chicken for maybe about. And then okay guys so I sauteed my chicken finished product I sauteed my veggies so now I'm on to my sauce so I have a stick of butter Melt that down. I have my whipping cream. I'm gonna use a cup of whipping cream. I'm Let that, let that simmer while it's melting my butter. I'm gonna wait for it to start to boil a little bit and then I'm gonna go ahead and add my Parmesan cheese. In the meantime, I'm gonna actually season this a little bit. Just gonna add a little salt and pepper. teaspoon of each give or take All right. 
Parmesan. You can use this or you can use the regular Parmesan. The way it's still good. And I'm actually going to put this whole thing in here. This is six ounces. The recipe said 12, but I think that's a little bit too much cheese for me. Okay, y'all, so I got my cheese melted all down. So I'm about to add my pasta and my veggies. that up. All right, I want to do a quick taste test. Um, let's eat, finish it off with a little parsley plate. Pasta, pasta. Hey y'all, welcome to Five Vegetarian. Give me some air hugs. It's your girl Latira, aka your favorite cousin. And if you're new to this channel, thank you so much for joining me. If you've been with me before, thank you so much for coming back. Uh, today I have uh, chicken rasta pasta, plant-based, of course. Um, I found this recipe on Chef Bay um, page on Instagram. So shout out to her and I bought her seasoning. So I already tasted this. I already know it's good. So we gonna dig in because I'm excited. I've been doing a detox this week, so I haven't been eating nothing but um, green vegetables. Well, more than green vegetables, but just pretty much fruits, vegetables, and um, green smoothies. So, it's definitely about to get max. But how is everybody doing today? I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good today. I'm in very good spirits. Um, we got a lot to be happy and thankful for. We're celebrating our freedom. Um, it's Juneteenth weekend, so that was yesterday. And um, celebrating the fathers this weekend. Happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. So I'm feeling real good. Hope y'all been having a good week. I've been just putting in all the hours. So I'm grateful. It's fine. 
I want to dedicate today's video to all the fathers out there. Um, since it is Father's Day weekend. Shout out to my daddy. Lonnie James. The one and only. Um, I just appreciate him and you know just the lessons that he taught me as a young girl you know I can remember being young and he used to sit around with me and my sisters and have us reading the Bible to him and we would pretty much have to decipher what it meant and tell it back to him so yeah, I was read a passage and and ask us individually what does that passage mean to us? And he would educate us on the Bible. I really appreciate him for that. Um instilling in me um that wisdom and also making me want to be more knowledgeable and um, about religion and uh, finding God and accepting the Lord as my Savior. Um, you know, and he always been there for me. Another thing that I could say, well, I got it for both of my mom and my dad, but I can remember as a little girl, I probably was probably six, no older than six, and my daddy had this record player. He used to always play his old uh, music on. He used to wake up first thing in the morning, literally about six o'clock in the morning playing the stylistics and the starlight and everybody else but I can honestly say he is the reason why I know so much old music right now just listening to all that stuff that he had listened to and I can just hear those songs today and it just bring back all those old memories I know I wasn't appreciating it at the time because we actually clapped when his record player broke. Record player broke. <laughs> it was so funny. He used to wake us up at 6 o'clock every morning, but stuff like that is things that you never forget. So. I definitely love and appreciate him for that. And anytime I need an ear, I can call him. So thank you so much, Daddy. For always being in my life, I love you. Yeah. I want to thank not only my daddy, but other people in my lifetime who have been a really important father figure. Uh, my stepdad, Joe. Rest in peace to you, Joe. I miss you all the time. Um, Joe was just it's too cool. <laughs> just too cool. Just laid back, you know, 
and just fly. Everybody loved Joe. And um, just the nicest guy ever. I'm going to give you the shirt off his back. And he was there for me, you know, when he didn't need to be, or not when he didn't need to be, but when he didn't have to be grabbing. You know, he taught me how to drive. I remember him making me drive his um, Ford Explorer from the passenger seat from Richmond Park to Kankakee. <laughs> just so I can learn how to steer first. I don't know if he just didn't want me to drive his car yet, but he did that. Um, he actually bought me my first car. There's just so many good memories. I just... You know, you never expect for a person to leave. You know, everybody had their time if they'll go, but that was unexpected, but it was two piece to him. Also, <clears throat> to my pop. <laughs> Love you, Pops. I inherited him through marriage. But love my pop to death. And just so kind and helpful and thoughtful and just love him. And my husband. Happy Father's Day. I love you and appreciate you. You are already a great father to Julian. Which is why I know that you will be an awesome father to our kids. So. <laughs> I mean, it's so funny because King is one of them people you'll see walking across the street and he got all the kids following him to the store. That's him. Uncle King. So. As y'all can see, killed that. But once again, I just want to say happy Father's Day to all the great fathers out there. You know, we appreciate y'all. Even if we may not say y'all all the time. Um, but everybody who was up our father figure in my life, you know, to my daddy. And my hubby. Love y'all.